Fort Worth ISD agreed to spend about $80,000 to provide GPS trackers on school buses, but it's not really much comfort to parents who say their kids have been repeatedly dropped off in the wrong neighborhoods. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins spoke to a mom who isn't convinced about this plan and wants to know what's next. Macy. Hi, Heather. Well, in just a few days, the district will enter into an agreement with T-Mobile to activate GPS trackers in district buses and district vehicles. This comes about a week and a half after seven children were left at a stop a half mile away from where they were supposed to be dropped off. Okay, put a GPS on there. At least we'll know where to go pick up our kids the next time your driver decides to drop them off somewhere else. You can hear the frustration in Gloria Williams' voice. A mom of two Daggett Elementary School students dropped off at the wrong bus stop after school on September 16th. It's like 3.40 and I'm asking myself, where, where are the kids at? She was at home while her 12-year-old daughter, Cielo Vaca, walked around the corner to pick up her 8- and 9-year-old sisters. One of the parents got a call saying that they dropped them off over there. Meaning a half mile away in a completely different neighborhood. I was confused, so I ran over there with her. A total of seven kids panicked about how to get home. All the kids were crying. The, all, all the kids were crying. Williams, along with other parents, say they want answers about how the mix-up could have happened. This is unacceptable. The response I'm getting is, I'm short-staffed. I don't want to hear it. My kid needs to be taken care of. Her safety is number one. But when Isabel Garcia Ariola tried to play a video of the crying children at Tuesday night's school board meeting, her microphone was turned off. Ma'am, Ma our, our rules don't allow for that, but we could definitely talk to you afterwards. Williams and the other parents were taken to a separate room where the new superintendent, Dr. Angelica Ramsey, assured them she would look into the incident. I was mad and so I started screaming. I was like, of course you're going to turn the mic off because those aren't your kids. This doesn't affect you in any way. Later in the meeting, the board approved an $80,000 agreement with T-Mobile to activate GPS trackers on district buses and vehicles. District documents say the goal is to make transportation more efficient, but no further details were provided. It's unclear who will be monitoring the trackers and whether parents will have access to the information. They did not tell us yesterday. Regardless, Williams says it's up to the district to ensure the mix-up never happens again. Well, our solution is some kind of media communication, a Facebook page, something. Now, last week, the district released a statement addressing the incident and said, quote, they will add technical enhancements throughout the fleet and that they are working with transportation staff to strengthen consistency in cross training. Now, they did not provide additional details at the time. It's unclear if those GPS trackers are what they were alluding to. That contract with T-Mobile will start on Saturday and run through June 30th of next year.